so uh, we came we came to this with uh, uh, our our OBD ports and uh, with uh, mandated connections uh, uh, in Europe. Um, so. There have been uh, university uh, hackers and, uh, and white hat hackers who have penetrated the OBD. And then, of course, uh, there was, uh, in Europe, the, the, I guess the highest profile penetration occurred with BMW, uh, with uh, Adi Atze hiring a, a hacker to uh, penetrate their system. I think there's some misconceptions because um, some of these hackers have, have, if you will, made it look easy, but if you look back at their methodology, there was a removal of a device, a desoldering of boards, uh, reverse engineering of firmware. So while cars are clearly vulnerable and porous when it comes to security, uh, cars are not being uh, hacked by the roadside. Let's put it that way. Car makers, I think, as we would say in the industry, have sort of taken the concept on board that there appears to be a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Uh, however, uh, the identification of departments or, or leading personnel, like a cyber chief of cybersecurity, for example, uh, not every car maker has done this. They've been quicker to establish sort of a head of digitization, BMW and Volkswagen in particular. Uh, PSA has created a co sort of global connected consumer uh, team along the lines of GM. Uh, but what is missing is that cybersecurity head to elevate it to a sea level responsibility uh, and an enterprise wide responsibility so we're not we're not quite there yet and and quite frankly it's a serious problem because dealers are also implicated there should be an establishment of trust so if we're going to connect cars we need to have trust with the car maker with the car that it's it's going to be safe and secure it's going to perform in a predictable way and i don't have to worry about my personal information or the vehicle uh, functioning uh, being compromised in any way so uh, there's a big question out there i, I don't I think it's first uh, for in, in the forefront of the average consumer's mind. I don't think uh, consumers are asking about security when they're on the dealer lot. I think there's an anticipation that there's some basic level, uh, although that basic level in reality really is just that it's difficult. Um, uh, but uh, s but car makers recognize something needs to be done, but that something has not yet been done. Oh, there's no question about that. So the, the outreach is underway, the, the uh, uh, expertise is being identified, uh, relationships are forming, and uh, it, it goes part and parcel with vehicle connectivity because you cannot have a secure vehicle unless the vehicle is connected because you're going to need to be able to update the code in the car to ensure that it is secure.